today's hike is called the Lynn Valley Link. It's in North Van. It's basically a big circle. Um, part of it is like trails that are pretty much in the city. Um, so there's kind of like two parts to it, I guess. But I think it's gonna be good. And I already hear like a river, so yeah, off we go. Also side note, because I've chosen a route that's kind of like links up a bunch of trails, Apparently it's a bit of a navigational nightmare just because you have to like look at the map constantly to make sure you're like going on the right path or whatever because there's so many cutoffs so yeah but uh, I figured I'd give it a go and worst case I'm not doing myself I'll just turn around so yeah. about this briefly in another vlog that um, actually never made it to YouTube because I proceeded to lose all of the footage um, based solely on my own technological stupidity but I don't really understand why people don't hike with trekking poles like even on not difficult terrain having my poles just like takes that little strain off my knees on every step which I enjoy having not the greatest of knees but also I've never taken my trekking poles on a hike and been like, I wish I didn't bring them, but I have definitely not brought them and wished I had. Literally never seen as many dogs in one place as I did just behind me on the trail by this um, bridge going over the river. There were literally like 40 dogs. Like, that's crazy. Like each family or couple or person or whatever had like two dogs each. It was wild. Currently on the first of what I think is going to be a few road walks today, but I'm going through a nice quaint little neighborhood, so I'm enjoying it so far. I think I'm about to go up a hill, which would be fine in a car, but on foot it's a little different. Thankfully there's actually quite a few signs for this uh, route, the Lynn Valley Link, so that's good. of this trail. I do a good amount of urban exploring with like geocaching and stuff. I do a lot of hiking and trail exploring but it's not often that I literally get to do them at the same time like put them together. So this is cool. I like it. I'm a fan.
section, um, I'm back in the forest. I'm in this section of trail where there's tons of mountain biking trails. So there's hikers and bikers and all of these trails are converging all over the place. It looks like a spider web on the map. And there's just bikers like flying out places and hikers just like appearing. And uh, it's nice, it's a little rocky, but yeah, it's fun. I'm basically, I'd say I'm three quarters of the hike done now, maybe a little more than that. I'm basically almost back. All right, I have just returned to my car, as you can see. Um, that was a decent mission. It was 15 kilometers, but it took like a long time. Like it took like three and a half hours. And um, yeah, it just, the terrain was like, it was never consistent. It was like road, steep hill, flat, gravel another road so it just like changed a lot and there was a lot of navigating like turn here turn here turn here turn here there's another trail coming off here another trail off here there's a road there's a road like so yeah but it was a good um it was a good a good time um i'm gonna eat a chocolate chip muffin now and i'm craving chocolate ice cream but we'll see if that actually happens um yeah Thanks for watching.